Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to be walking through the AWS OpenSearch service and we're also going to be creating our first dashboard in it and to provide a little bit of context here if you're familiar with Elasticsearch and how it does full text analysis on a bunch of documents, the AWS OpenSearch service is forked off the most recent public uh, commit for AWS or for Elasticsearch version 7.10. So this is going to let you do a bunch of full text analysis on documents and we'll walk through a full example of this right now. So um, the other thing to note here is that if you've used Elasticsearch in the past, the Kibana service that lets you visualize your contents of your Elasticsearch indices, um, that is called OpenSearch dashboards. So OpenSearch provides the indexes just like Elasticsearch provided the indexes and then OpenSearch dashboards provides the visuals just like Kibana provides the visuals. So the first thing I'm going to do in order to spin up a cluster, and we're going to keep this all in the free tier so you don't have to worry about paying for anything as long as your account was created within the last year, is we're going to go to the AWS Management Console, going to type in OpenSearch, and it's going to pull this guy up just like that. And I'm going to now click on Create Domain. And I've got a previous domain I was testing or playing around with that's being deleted. Um, so I'm just going to click on this Create Domain here. And I'm going to give this thing a name. So I'll call this the VS uh, First Domain. Call it whatever you'd like. Uh, and in terms of creating custom endpoints for that, you don't need to do this, uh, especially if you're just playing around with it. Right now, in terms of deployment type, choose Deployment and Testing. And it lets you pick right here which type of uh, version to go with for your service. You can choose Elasticsearch version 7.10, um, or you can choose the OpenSearch version 1.3. I'm going to be going with OpenSearch 1.3 because this comes with a, the Kibana equivalent to the OpenSearch dashboard service included in it uh, inside of your little domain. So um, important to note that. Another thing I want to call out is that when you hear the terms domain and OpenSearch service, it's equivalent to Elasticsearch clusters. So just like how in Elasticsearch cluster, you had a bunch of nodes that would hold the shards for your indices, uh, the same exact thing applies here where instead of a cluster, you have a domain of nodes that are hosting your open search service. Um, so I'm going with version 1.3, uh, the latest, and going with development and testing here. I'm going to disable auto-tune because I don't really want to do that right now in my you know, dev environment. Uh, this is a very important part if you want to keep this on the free tier uh, is to decrease the number of AZs you have for uh, the number of data nodes that you're going to go with because if you are doing three uh, AZs and three nodes, that means you'll have three nodes in each of the AZs, you'll have a total of nine nodes. And so on the free tier, you are given 750 hours of time on the uh, T3 small search in the, uh, instance types. And so uh, you'll burn through that very quickly if you're going with nine of these things running simultaneously. So choose one AZ and one node for the sake of testing this and also change this instance type to t3.small.search and this keeps you on that free tier. So be really careful in this section um, if you want to avoid getting charged for that stuff. Um, the other thing I'll call out is that you can choose to use older instance types, but it really doesn't make any sense to do so because the T3 small, which is on the free tier, comes with uh, two virtual CPUs, whereas the one, uh, the T2, the previous generation free tier instance type only has one vCPU. So you're getting better value for free <laughs> here by sticking with T3. So for the sake of just playing around with it, I recommend going with the latest instance type that's on the free tier, which in this case is that T3 small search. Um, so again, we're only going to go with one node. We're going to choose EBS storage. So that's that virtual uh, little network attached drive. And we're going to keep this at the GP3 SSD uh, volume type. And we're only going to go with 10 gigs on this for now. Again, to keep this on the free tier, if you bump this over, I believe, 30 gigs, um, that's how you will start getting charged for it because on the free tier, you're only allowed a maximum of 30 gigs uh, of EBS volume per month. Um, so we're not going to change that. I'm going to keep it at 10. Um, we're not going to change any of the advanced settings either. I'm not going to do anything with this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to enable dedicated master nodes. Again, these are for when you have multi-node environments when if one of your nodes goes down you can hold elections to figure out which one is your master node that would handle the uh, writing of operations then your your other nodes would be replicating that essentially but um, we're not going to be doing that especially because we only have a one node environment right now um, we're also not going to be changing any settings in terms of network this is a really important section as well because if you after you create your domain are wondering why you can't connect to your uh, your your domain. Um, this is likely one of the reasons. Choose public access, um, and this is strictly for the sake of testing and playing around with it. 
Um, as you get more nuance in this thing, you would want to enable VPC access so that you can be uh, you can follow the principle of least privilege in terms of the access to your open search domain. But you know, just so we can start querying this thing and uploading some test data to it, public access is a great way to start. We're also going to be enabling fine-grained access control, um, and we're not going to be using IAM users right now. I'm going to be making a master user, and I'm just going to give this a name. I'll call it admin, and then we'll give it a password. Um, so I'm just going to give this a super generic, terrible password because we're only testing this right now. Um, skip SAML authentication, skip uh, Cognito, and uh, in terms of access policy, again, this is where you want to make sure that we're using uh, that fine-grained access control. Um, so make sure you've checked this box. Uh, otherwise, you'll get a timeout when you try to query us. Um, we're not going to change any of these encryption settings. We're not going to add any tags. And then we're going to click on Create. And so uh, this is the part where it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes for this domain to finish provisioning. So this is the part where I'm just going to pause this video. We'll come back to it once we have uh, finished this job. And, and we'll know we're there when they're telling us uh, a dashboard's URL and a domain endpoint for us to be using. So I'm gonna pause this, we'll get back to it once it finishes. Alrighty guys, so uh, it's been a few minutes and now we've finished the process of creating our domain. So uh, we've got this domain endpoint right here and then we also have this open search dashboards URL link. I'm gonna click on it in a new tab and you're gonna see that it's going to take us to this web page where we can sign into our account. So I'm going to sign in and I'm going to enter my password And we have now officially finished connecting to our new open search domain, which is really cool. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add some data to this just so we can have some stuff to talk about. Um, in terms of the tenant that you go with, you're basically saying here whether or not you want the dashboards that you make inside of your open search domain or cluster to be visible to people outside of your organization. Um, and so in my case, I'm going to keep things private, but if you wanted to be doing stuff and sharing with the world, you would choose global right here. So I'm going to click on confirm and um, we're going to add in some sample data. They've got, you know, three categories to pick from. I'm just going to go with something like e-commerce orders and it's going to take a few seconds, but once it comes through, we will see some data to look around with inside of our cluster. And if you're familiar with Kibana, this open source dashboard is literally Kibana, um, just with different branding. Um, so I'm going to give this thing just a second. So we finished adding this data. I'm going to click on this hamburger right here, and we're going to uh, just very quickly look into stack management and view index patterns. And you can see that basically what happened is that in the back end, they just created this new index inside of our cluster called Open Search Dashboard Sample Data E-Commerce. Um, and so you can view all of the different things that they've stuck inside of this. There's uh, 60 fields in total, um, but uh, you can click through this and you can search things. Uh, another way you can discover data or, or look at it uh, is go to the discover page. And this is where you can see really cool um, information on uh, all the stuff that's inside of that index that uh, they've created for us. So that dashboard, uh, the e-commerce index that we've just created. So I'm going to change the time here to go from 15 and then we'll change this to like years ago and update this and give this thing a moment. So now you can see that we've got uh, 1,725 uh, individual JSON documents that correspond to like an e-commerce order or something like that from someone. Um, and you can do things, uh, we'll, we'll do future videos on how to upload your own data in here, but um, for the sake of, of playing around with this stuff, you can add filters. So you can do like uh, customer gender is one of, and then you can go with like female and then save this. And uh, now it's showing you, you know, if you wanted to, to get more nuanced here, you can try to figure out things like what are the top brands or top manufacturers of items that have sold to women. So if you're trying to come up with like a good advertising campaign, you can do that pretty easily by seeing right here, you know, Tigress Enterprises is clearly the most popular uh, manufacturer for, for this thing. Um, you can also do a little bit of deep diving into like the, the cities that people are in. So where most of your users coming from, um, you can see other stuff like what's the most common first name for people. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you can, we'll, we'll do more stuff on how to index, uh, your own stuff and, and make visuals off this. Um, I think very quickly we can, we can do something, uh, so go to visualize. And um, they've already created some visuals for us, which is pretty cool. 
uh, but I'm going to create a new visualization and I'm just going to do a vertical bar chart and we're going to base this on that e-commerce data and this is where we can begin to add some buckets and we can do something like a date histogram and update that and uh, clearly we have to like zoom in on a particular field but you know this is telling us basically like the number of orders we've had each 12 hours over the last you know so many days or whatever like that so um, you know pretty pretty easily we can start playing around with stuff um, we can do other stuff here like split the series and aggregate do a uh, terms aggregation by the gender so we can see like the customer gender metric count update that so you can see like the ratio of like males to females and, and how they've bought stuff over time on our website um, but yeah so uh, we will jump into more of this stuff in future videos, but if you made it this far, congratulations. Welcome to Open Search. Uh, it is a pretty cool new platform from AWS. And let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.